want to tell you about a certain uh, time period in England in the Middle Ages when spinsters were using a rather short spindle stick. And there are two or three points of, uh, you might call them references, to these sticks. The most, the most powerful and interesting would be the actual finds from Coppergate, which is now York. England. And what they had found was a, a pair of spindle sticks that had a notch at the top, a notch at the bottom, and a swelling off center on the stick. I've been experimenting with recreating these sticks, and the other references that I know about, which Coppergate is probably 11th to 12th century. And the other two references, uh, one of which is the Luttrell Psalter illuminations, those references are from the 1300s, the first half of the 1300s. Um, I would also include the decretals of Gregory the Ninth. They show a short spindle stick, but it's an illumination. And that spindle stick is in this orientation with the whorl at the bottom and an unusual cop where the shaft is more bare at the top. Since there are no discernible knocks, it is very hard to know whether they're using a knock in the illumination in England at that time period. They're using a relatively sh uh, unshaped top, perhaps just straight or they're using a knock at the top, but no knock at the bottom, unlike the Coppergate York finds. So I have been recreating these spindles and spinning on them to try to understand, since they weren't found, the original uh, archeological finds had no whorls attached to the sticks. Another feature of these short shafts is they're spinning something very fine, very diminutive in grist. Don't worry about the rain. Just keep talking. When we look closely at a ball-shaped cup, on a spindle stick that's a recreation of the Coppergate York finds, you'll find that when you want to build up the cop, you're going to have to concentrate in different areas specifically. And what you do initially is you make sure more is wound in the middle on the stick. And as it builds and becomes fatter, you still can go back and forth, but you want to end, if you're spinning top-weighted, you end down here and you do your half hitch to the top. Make sure it's tight so it hangs on. If you are spinning bottom-weighted, then the rule is you end up below the cop on your way up to the hitch and pull it tight. Now what's happened here is it didn't stay at the bottom and now it won't tighten down, you'll drop your spindle. So at the bottom, make sure it's tight and come up like so. It kind of jiggles around. I think at this point I start being interested in running it top weighted. Hey, Mom. Yeah? Knock, knock. Who's there? Spin. Spin who? Spin too long since I've seen another video for you. Hurry up. <laughs>